Did you know that about one in three men worldwide carries a silent, particular kind of sexually transmitted infection? The notorious culprit, none other than the genital human papilloma virus, more commonly known as HPV. A recent study unveiling the hidden truth, and this truth is a big game changer in the way we perceive women's health. Because this new report debunks a major misconception. HPV is not just a women's issue, and we will explain how. HPV is a group of viruses that are deceptively sneaky. They target not only the skin, but also the moist membranes lining our bodies, like the cervix, mouth, throat. And now here's the eye-opener. The research published by the Lancet Global Health Journal found that around one in every five men above the age of 15 harbors one or more high-risk cancer-causing HPV types. Among the over 100 known HPV types, roughly 30 affect the genital area. And this makes HPV the second most common sexually transmitted infection in the United Kingdom. And here's the kicker. A common misconception that needs debunking. HPV is not just a women's issue. Contrary to popular belief, doctors are sounding the alarm that a majority of individuals, regardless of gender, are susceptible to contracting HPV at some point in their lives. A team of dedicated researchers, including experts from the Catherine Institute of Oncology, Edibel in Spain, embarked on a review of studies published between 1995 and 2022. What were their findings? An eye-popping global prevalence of 31% for any HPV and approximately 21% for high-risk variants. The implications, you see, are profound. As the scientists put it in their study, I'm quoting, our findings show that HPV prevalence is high in men over the age of 15 years and support that sexually active men, regardless of age, are an important reservoir of HPV genital infection. And as it turns out, HPV was most prevalent among young men, peaking between ages of 25 to 29 and gradually decreasing among the older crowd. But here's where it gets more interesting. The new study reveals that estimates for Eastern and Southeastern Asia are strikingly lower, merely half of what is observed in other regions. Now, you might wonder, what is the big deal? While most HPV infections in men and women often go unnoticed, they can be a silent harbinger of long-term health woes. In fact, the World Health Organization reports that over 340,000 women lose their lives to cervical cancer due to HPV. And it's not just women who bear the brunt. In men, HPV infection can lead to anogenital warts, causing significant distress and increasing HPV transmission rates. HPV is also linked to penile anal cancers. Just to put it in stark numbers, approximately 69,400 cases of cancer in men were attributed to HPV in the year 2018. That's a big revelation, isn't it? This global study confirms how widespread HPV infection really is. So what's the takeaway then? These estimates emphasize the pressing need to include men in prevention strategies. If you look at uh, how many women are infected, whether of HPV or HIV or any STD, 98% of them get infection from their husband, son, from their partners uh, or their steady partners. They don't get by themselves. Another 2-3% to get from their own source. Uh, so if you have that logic in mind, then you are preventing HPV or any such infection only in women who are primarily infected from the men. It is an illogical thing. So it has to be a men first and then women. I'm not saying because men should be given priority. I'm saying because here men get the infection from outside. They bring the infection to women. And then we are trying to prevent source. Uh, we are trying to prevent infection in the subsequent person rather than the source. That was Dr. Ishwar Gilada, Secretary General of Organized Medicine Academic Guild. He talks about a men's first approach. 
So in a world where health knows no borders, this revelation underscores the importance of awareness, prevention and early intervention. Not only to mitigate HPV-related health issues, but also to inch closer to the goal of eliminating cervical cancer and other HPV-related diseases. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.